almost ready. Yes, darling. Aren't you going to take that? <laughs> it's probably Kelvin. I don't have his time right now. Don't tell me you guys are fighting again. <laughs> Not really, but you know how Kelvin is always wanting to meet. And babe, I'm at the peak of my career. I don't want his distraction right now. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I will see you when I get back, right? Okay. Don't cut everywhere. Get me the usual. My usual. I wonder why you're not fat. <laughs> <laughs> you come and take it now. I love the door. I'm so sorry for always bailing out on our dates. My workload is too much. It's killing me. I barely have time for myself these days. I'm so sorry. How have you been? Oh well. I'm good. I've missed you though. <laughs> I know, yeah? I missed you too. Don't worry, very soon I'll clear my desk so we can go on that vacation we've been planning. Okay? Of course. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Thank you. Anytime. Oh, and mom. Mom has been asking about you. She won't stop asking. <laughs> she wants to know when we're visiting again. She wants to see you. Well, that depends on her daughter. Well, whenever you want us to visit, I'm always here. All right? Um, what do you think about the weekend, though? Okay, yeah. Weekend is cool. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I've really missed you. Missed you more. <laughs> understands my busy schedule, but I will make it up to him once I am able to clear my desk. Oh, he is such an understanding man. You're lucky, girl. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, we'll be visiting mom. She really, really likes him for me so much. Wow. Wow. I'm so happy for you, girl. <laughs> I just pray it works out between you both. It will work. Kevin and I have been together for three years. He knows so well not to disappoint me. Please, is there food in the house? I am famished. Okay, you know what? Just go in, freshen up, while I make something for you. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my darling. You are the best. I know, right? Don't <laughs> mention. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be out in like five, okay? Uh, right? Okay, Put your phone away. Please. Ah, okay, fine. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Right away. Can't get this bestie from. Put my phone away.
gay. Guess who got gay? I who who got gay? Baby girl, take a look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> you are planning a wedding. My wedding very soon. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> when did you start dating that you're already engaged? <sighs> I mean, I just saw your post and I was really surprised. You never told me you had a man. I know, right? I just planned to keep it a secret until I was very sure. Baby, you know now, you know how my relationship past has been. I mean, the whole hustle, bustle, and all of it. You know how the story is now. Yeah. So, I just wanted to keep it on a low until I was very sure what was going to come out of it. Mm -hmm. And here is it. Wow. <laughs> so, when am I meeting this gentleman that stole your heart away? Very soon. Just be patient. Oh. And you'll be surprised at what a gorgeous and handsome man he is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy for you, darling. Congrats. Thank you. Don't cry. Oh, I feel like crying. <laughs> Don't cry. I know you already cried enough there. You know, engagement I'm scene. <laughs> I'm emotional, right? <laughs> I know you. <laughs> Congrats, eh? Well Thank done. you. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm so exhausted, like I had a wild day, and I need to rest, I need to go to bed early I today. understand, congrats baby, good night. Uh, by the way, the ring is so beautiful. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm sure you cried already. Yeah, I did. Face. How did you know? <laughs> I know you now. We should know you again. You're welcome, darling. Congrats Thank again. You. Come in. Z, hey. what are you doing here? You didn't tell me you were coming. Uh, do I now need a permission to visit my boyfriend? <laughs> That's... Babe, who is... I just knew it. I just knew it. I knew that hand you posted on your WhatsApp status is his hand. You are not that smart, are you? To think that I wouldn't recognize the hand of a man I've been with for three years. Wow. Come here, darling. Come. You see, the, um, Claire and I, we got engaged. And we were going to tell you when the time was right. How long has this been going on? Tell me, how long have you been screwing my best friend? Vivian, look Vivian, I am I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean for you to find out this way. I'm so sorry. The thing is, I, I love Kelvin. Who loves ah! What is wrong with you? What in the world has gotten into you? How dare you to both of you? How could you two do this to me? Claire, you are my best friend. My sister! How could you stab me in the back? How could you? I trusted you, Claire. And all this while, you've been sleeping with my man. Why? I'm sorry, Vivian. I'm so sorry, Vivian. I didn't mean for all of this to happen. I thought you never liked him. And I liked Kelvin and, and at first there was nothing between us. We just vibe, we our vibe matches and all of that. And we found out that we both fell in love with each other. That's really good. Wow. Well, 
Three years, Kelvin. Three years of my life. And this is how you choose to repay me. my baby <laughs> eh? okay say calm down talk to your mother eh? stop behaving like a baby talk to me what happened mommy they lied to me they cheated me mommy who lied to you and who cheated on you hmm? see wipe away these tears talk to your mother with the language i will understand who lied to you and who cheated on you please Kevin and Claire, mom. They are engaged. Kevin and Claire? My goodness. Listen to me, wait. Wipe away your tears. Hmm? Don't cry. Don't bother yourself. Hmm? Don't worry. That little girl that you did everything for. Even that boy. If he can, he can cheat on you with your best friend, then he doesn't deserve you. You shouldn't cry over such a guy. Hmm? Just calm down. Mom, Do not you cry. won't believe that they've been seeing each other for, for two years behind my back. Mommy, this is so fair. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Don't you worry. Listen, let me tell you. For that guy to have the mind to cheat on you with your best friend, he doesn't deserve you. Hmm? So don't cry. Wipe away your tears. Hmm? Do not cry, my baby. Don't worry. Because two idiots decided to betray you. Mom, it's just a transfer. And you won't even be far away from here. <laughs> and you feel running away will be the solution? Mom, I am not running away. I am just looking for a healing solution. Staying here will constantly remind me of things I do not want to remember. <laughs> Children of these days. They prefer to run away from their troubles than to face it head on. Eh? First of all, mommy, I am not a child. And secondly, I am not running away. <laughs> Mom, it is just a transfer. I'm just transferring to another state. Believe me, the branch there is twice better than what we have here. And your MD? Is he aware of all this? He's aware. I'm still waiting for his response. I hope he works out well for me. Okay. Oh. What about me? What happens to my monthly medical checkup? You know, I can't do all these things alone without your help. So how am I going to do all this? I will tell Dr. Roland to transfer your files to a very good hospital there. So you can come in and have your checkups. Mommy, please. I need your blessing. I really want to do this. What are you doing here? Please get out. 
I don't want to talk to you. V. My wedding is in a month time. And um, Kevin and I just want to rush things up because I'm 15 weeks pregnant for him. You should call. <laughs> you got some nerve showing up here to invite me. V, you're my friend. You should have thought of that before sleeping with my man. And I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Get out. I do not want to say or do something I will regret. Leave. Get out. Okay, fine. I will leave. We just know this. V, I love you. Get out. Get out! The nerves. Hello, Mom. I'm fine, Mom. Thank you. Mom, you won't believe what just happened. Claire showed up here to invite me to her wedding. She said her wedding is coming up by month end or whatever she said. Can you imagine that? Come on, Mom. My mind is made up already. You can't stop me. When I arrive and settle down, I will call you. And I, I have contacted Dr. Roland. I will have him transfer your file to a very good hospital. I love you too, Mom. All right, bye. What's wrong with you? Would you remove this thing from the road? Please remove it. Some of us have more important things to do. Are you deaf? Let's remove this thing from the road now. Hey, 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 hey. Are you blind? Can't you see that the car is faulty and he's trying to fix it? Huh? What? what you're talking to me? <laughs> Young lady, I would advise you to mind your business. I wasn't talking to you. Ah. Please, move this thing! Oh, wait. Fancy cars really think you're better than others, right? You're just a bully. Move the car now, let's see. Let's see your muscles. Move the car out of the road. Let's see your muscles. Lousy man. Wait, 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 you just called me lousy? Yes, you heard me right. I did. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to hit me? Huh? Hit me now. Is it done? Yes, it's done. Okay. Thank you. Are you following me? I follow you. Why would I follow you when you're not Kim Kardashian? <laughs> Climb down your high horse. You're not rich. So, if you're not following me, why are you here?
Uh, how's that? I didn't mean for you not to hear. Yeah, I came to the house to get a fire, so I'm heading back to the office now. Oh, let me call you back. Okay. Um. Um. Wait a minute. You're Vivian Michaels? Yes. And you are? You'll be stuck with this asshole for a while. I don't understand. Do you live here? This apartment is for realty staff members. Wait a second. You work at realty? Welcome to your worst nightmare. No, 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 no. This and, um, has to be a mistake. One more thing. Don't touch any of my personal belongings. And do not destroy things here. Everything is properly accounted for. God damn it! Michaels, yeah. Please, what do you think you're doing? What does it look like I'm doing? You're not blind, are you? You're where we have a laundry room in this house, right? How would I have known that when you never showed me around? No, I don't understand that. As your tour guard or what? Then stop complaining. <laughs> it's obvious you have a big mouth attached to this your big head. Please, for next time sakes, we have a laundry room. Take this your thing there. I receive guests here. Get in, let me drop you. No, thank you. What? You really want to be late on your first day? Not your business. So, what is what's the problem? Huh? Do you have a problem with me that I'm not aware of? Just drop your pride and just come in. And besides, getting a ride from this area is very difficult. See how that is your business. It is my business because this is my branch. You, you are the branch manager. You'll be cleaning the convenience. That will be your punishment for being late. You want me to clean the public bathroom? That's gross. Do you have a choice? That's the job of the cleaners. You have twenty minutes to clean it sparkling clean, and if you don't. Be cleaning it for another one week. Excuse me. Hey, 
You must be Vivian. I'm Zoe. Um, we've been briefed on your coming. Oh, nice to meet you, Zoe. Nice to meet you. Uh, this is your desk. Uh, um, why is your dress wet? Oh, I I cleaned the bathroom for coming late. You cleaned the bathroom? Um, that's new. Um, the highest punishment you can get here for coming late is um, a warning or some deduction in your salary. I'm sorry, who asked you to clean? The branch manager. The branch manager is known since he actually traveled. So who is... Son of a... <sighs> he played me. And who is he? My flatmate. Your flatmate is a guy. Please, is there a way I can change him? Because I can't stand him. I would prefer a lady. Is there, is there anything I can do? Uh, Vivian, um, ladies aren't easy. Trust me. My flatmate gives me headache all the time. I'll give anything in this world to be where you're at right now. Trust me, guys, are way easy. Uh uh. Not this one. <laughs> well, you can have your seat. Thank you. Someone is back. Welcome, beautiful. You made me wash the bedroom. Pretending to be the branch manager. Why would you do such a thing? Oh, she found out. Mm, that's good. It's not funny. But it's funny to me. Please, stay in your limit. Do you hear me? Stay out of my business. Stop trying to get on my nerves. Please, stop it. Hello, Mom. What's wrong? Are you okay? Yeah? weekend for her medical checkup. I'm just telling you so you don't get surprised. Okay. And hang on for a bit. I'm almost done with breakfast so I can drop you off. Thank you. I'll take a ride instead. Um, I don't know if you've checked your meal lately. There's a pitch deck we need to do for a client before the weekend end. You're my team. It keeps getting worse. <laughs> no matter how much you hate it, you stop with me. And we're not even in the same department. Who made this ridiculous arrangement? I think that question should be directed to the management. God! It's my life! All these memes. <laughs> Vivian, it's weekend. Are you not going to clean the house? 
Who was doing it for you before I moved in? I was, but now you're here and you're a lady, you should clean the house. So, because I'm a lady, I should clean? God, it's designed that way. A woman do the domestic chores. Wow. And what do men do? Relax, watch football, eat and sleep? We, we provide. I mean, we provide for the family. Well, we are not family and you certainly do not provide for me. So if you know how you were living before I got here, keep living that way. Don't expect anything from me. She just walked out on me. I just clean this place. And so what? So because you just cleaned the floor. I shouldn't eat in peace. I shouldn't walk around. I should fly away. Are you the first man to clean? Hmm? like you didn't see what just happened. Please pick it up and clean the floor now. Uh, you really like to help, don't you? Ah! Uh. Vivian, Vivian, come back here and clean the mess you've made. Vivian! Keep your head like a mad dog. Mm, mad dog. Roy, dog. You mean Roy? Roy is a very sweet guy. Come on, babe. If it's Roy you're staying with, you don't know how lucky you are. You mean I'm lucky? Because the guy won't stop getting on my nerves. He's so annoying. Roy. Ugh. It's good to know that you are talking about me. I feel so important. It seems I'm the only thing that gets you girls going. What do you want? That was my name on your mouth. Because I was telling Zoe here how annoyingly sick you are. Really? Mm -hmm. And you too. I mean, that makes the both of us. Anyways, there's a fire left in the house. What can I? And um, if discussing about me gets you to through your frustrating day, please go ahead. I didn't know I was that hurt. Wow. You saw that, right? Are you still going to give everything to be where I am? <clears throat> <laughs> oh, Wait, so yeah. good to see you. Good to see you too. How was your trip? It was very stressful. Ah, traffic here and there. <laughs> but I thank God I'm here now. Aww, sorry about that. <laughs> thank Welcome. you, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Ah, what's going on? Is it my eye or something? This place looks bigger than the other one. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> 
Good day, ma'am. Good day. Good day. Vivian. Ha! What's going on? You didn't tell me you have a Prince Charming in your house. Um, and this one looks more handsome than the other one. That one that left you from that your best friend. This one is handsome than him. What's that his name again? What's that his name? Remind me. Um, Kevin! Oh, oh, hey! Oh. Mom. Chai! Please. please. Oh, please let me know. For how long have you guys known each other? Nina? Mom, he's just... Uh, two months. <coughs> Two months. Two yeah. months. Two beautiful months. And mm. trust me, you raised a wonderful woman. Anyway, my name is Royston. Oh, Royston. Chai. See me. <laughs> what did you say again? Royston. Man. Royston. Chai. Very beautiful name. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to finally meet you. I mean, your daughter has told me a lot about you. Yes. And so much. Let me help you with your bag and. Take it to your room. That is fine by me. <laughs> oh, uh, what a good boy. And handsomeness put together. Eh? <laughs> Vivian, you are a very lucky girl. You have eye for good things. Mom. Eh? <laughs> you know how to create a necessary scene. No, no, no. There's no scene here. All you need to do now is to get me something I've finished. My truth is dried already. I need something to chill. You have to go, please. That's all I need now. Let's sit down. <laughs> Let me get you something to drink. Yes. Oh. Chai! See, handsomeness. Eh? Vivian, my daughter, you have eye, you. This my daughter, Gwenaanya. You have eye for good day. Joy, my in law to be. Hey. Hey. What the hell was that with my mother? You're welcome. Are you insane? How will you tell her that you are my man when I don't even like you? <laughs> Wait, see, thank you is not difficult, you know. Thank you for what exactly? I don't get it. For her constant reminder that you are single, I need to bring a man. I need to bring a man home. Come on, see, I know how African mothers behave. And trust me, that's not what you want to be dealing with right now. What do you care? See. I have never lied to my mother before, and I am not going to start now. Hmm, really? You never lied to her? Okay, fine. Go out here and tell her the truth. Go! Go and tell her that oh, we're just sharing an apartment. What are you waiting for? Go! Jeez. Listen. You will stay out of the way until she's gone. Do you understand? Show yourself less. Oh. You know something? Your mother is one of the sweetest human beings I've come across. But you see, you, I don't know where you get your bitterness from. Jesus, please use the door. Your fiance is not in the bag. I think he's working late. And mom, please, he's not my fiancé yet. We're just getting to know each other. Okay. Mm. Oh, you both work in the same office? Yes, but different departments. He's head of accounting, I'm in marketing. Oh, that's nice. That guy must be a perfect gentleman. Hold this one tight. Hold him tight. Mom, you also said that about Kelvin. Turns out he's a green snake in a green grass. Yes, I say so, but it's not entirely my fault. Mm -hmm. It's not my fault. You allow your girlfriend to be visiting him. You introduce your girlfriend to him. Mom, please. No, what I'm saying is, you have to be careful so that this one will not happen again. Uh, okay, I'm not. I know. She doesn't want to hear the truth. That's your fault. That's your problem. You don't like hearing the truth. Oh. Good evening, Mom. Good evening, my dear. You're back. Oh, Mom, how are you doing? Not fine. As you can see, my daughter is taking proper care of me. Ah, I can see that. <laughs> Come and join us. Let's eat. Um, Mom, he prefers to eat in his room. Wait, right? How can you say that? Why would he prefer to eat in his room when there's plenty of space here in the dining? Please. Come join us. Come and sit. Please. Alright. 
Okay, I'll join you guys down there. It's not a change in back here. No, it's common sense. Okay. Yes. What's the problem? Uh, Go get his food for him, Biko. Okay. Go and get his own food for him. Okay, don't worry. I'll get it myself. Thank you, man. I'll get it. What? What do you think you're doing? But your mother invited me. So that she will keep on asking questions. Listen, you are not eating here with us. Why? You are going to go to your room and relax. When she's out, I will tell her that you had an impromptu Zoom meeting that you needed to attend to. So, you should be eating in your room. Oh, that is a smooth lie. Come from someone that claimed she's never lied to her mother. That's so good. It tastes exactly as it looks. <clears throat> you didn't make this, right? You made this, right? Because I know you have never cooked for me. Chimo, huh? she doesn't cook for me. How? So how do people feed? How do you eat? We we order food from restaurants. Eh? Huh? Order food from restaurant. Who does that? Vivian. Vivian? Who taught you that, Vivian? Oh my goodness. <laughs> but, but I, I, I totally understand that you're working. You work so hard. Mom, trust me, she works so hard. Right? Ha! Huh. Vivian, you're working. You work on weekends too. Hmm? That your working doesn't stop you from cooking for your husband, your fiancé, your husband to be. No, please. Listen, no, 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 don't want me. On the weekend, you go to the market. Stock your fridge, freezer with food, plenty of food, so that your fiance, my son in law, will have enough food to eat. Oh, oh, you're correct. I'm oh, correct. Please, eh? please, can we just eat? You taught me that we shouldn't be talking when we're eating. So, my son, Roy. <laughs> yes, it's Roy, ma. Mm -hmm, my darling. Don't mind me, know his old age. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you meet my daughter? How did you both meet each other? And Jimmy oh. too. Meet. Mm. Yes. We mm. <laughs> friends. Mm. Uh, yeah, colleague. Uh, party, colleague. Uh, I met her. And oh, we just know. got talking, I mean. Mm. I mean it just clicked. Mm. I mean you, you raised an amazing lady here. Mm. Right. <laughs> Do you know that um her three years relationship ended last month? Wow. She didn't tell you. No, she didn't. Have you been you hiding some things from your fiance? Is that how you behave? Oh. Hmm? Her husband to be left her for her best friend. Oh whoa! That's a and lot. Our president he, he, he engaged her. Oh whoa! Oh, right now they are married. Oh boy, that's a lot. Do you know why I'm telling you all these things? No, for right. you to be very careful how you handle her for me. Oh. Because if you break her heart. You have me to contend with. Oh, mom, you have no nothing to worry about. I promise I'll take care of her. I mean, guide her heart. Mm -hmm. Like an. No, egg. don't have one. Sure, please. <laughs> Give me my daughter. It's your food, though. We're getting lean, though. Yes, he's losing weight. You're losing weight, my daughter. Please eat. Yes. Ah, sure, you notice that. <laughs> yes, mom, <laughs> I did. <laughs> She's beginning to. Do you want to come? Oh, come on. It would be disrespectful to reject an offer from an elderly person now. Oh, wow. Now you are being respectful. You didn't think of that when you openly lied to her that we're in a relationship. A lie that you gladly bought into? Hmm? Listen. Whatever was discussed on this table, I don't want you to ask me about it. Oh, what was discussed? Oh, yeah, that's true. Your boyfriend ditching you for your best. Oh, no, of course. We'll not discuss that. At least not today. Mm -hmm. And not any other day. Okay. 
not any other things tomorrow. But we will talk about it next tomorrow. Seriously, mom, it is not everything about my past that I want to be discussing with people. Uh, is Roy not your boyfriend? Are you supposed to be hiding something from him? Mom, it is not in your position to tell him anything about me. Oh, Please sorry. stop choking him. You are all over him and it's beginning to look like I am desperate and pathetic. Oh, Chino, I am sorry. If I made you feel that way, I am sorry. I'm only checking up on you. I want to make sure that he is the right man for you. So you don't go about making the same mistake again. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate everything you do. But please, it's enough. I am not a child, Mom. I'm a grown-ass woman. I can handle my shit. Mmm. You can handle your shit. I've seen how you handle Kevin's shit. I have seen how you handled his shit. You handled his shit and you are here in another town trying to build yourself over and over again. You can't handle anything. You are still a child. Mom, it's really pointless having this conversation with you. I need to freshen up and sleep. I have work tomorrow. Ah, yes, Mom. Mr. no problem. Mm. You can go and have your work. Yes. All I'm trying to do is ah. to make sure that you are okay. Thanks, I'm Mom. protecting you and your mother. Mom, good night. You're just a child. Yes, Mom. Thank you so much. Good night, Mom. I love you. I need to sleep. I can see you girls are going somewhere. Yes, I have an appointment with the doctor. Please. Oh, with the doctor? Yes. <laughs> Let me drop you. Ah! No, 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 no. Thank you. We're fine. <laughs> I already booked a ride. Besides, you'll be late for work. What about you? Won't you be late? Uh, Vivian, see, I overheard you telling your mother that you want to take the bus. Let me drop you girls. Hmm? Vivian, if he wants to drop us, allow him to drop us. What is your problem? Roy is my handsome son. Please come and drop us. You want to talk about your ex? Me, your boy. Help me. I told you not to ask. I never promised you I wasn't going to. It's not something I like to remember, let alone discuss. Even if I want to, what makes you think it will be with you? We are not even friends. <laughs> really? I'm not your friend. I saved you from your mother's shackles. You're not my friend and you're sitting in my car. I didn't ask you for any of that. You brought yourself into it because you like meddling into people's businesses. Wow, I see. You don't see anything. Vivian. I see Rob versus your today. You guys are getting to know each other. I couldn't get a ride, so he offered to help. That's just it. And nothing else. Come on. Why don't you like him? He's a cool guy. Okay, Zoe, I don't know where you are getting at with all these things, but he never asked me out. And even if he did, I will never go out with him because he's not my type of guy. And most importantly, I am not interested in dating right now. I've had my own fair share of heartbreak. Heartbreak? Come on, I've been there before. It's not the end of the world. See, I moved on. My mom, my mom came for her medical checkup and she thinks Roy and I are dating. <laughs> and I'm not even ready to tell her the truth because she will start pressurizing me about dating again. And with what happened with my ex, 
I don't think I'm ready now. Um, what happened? You was cheating on me with my best friend the entire time. And now they're engaged. <laughs> Wait, what? Your best friend? Yeah. Someone I took as my sister. <sighs> That's... Wow. I'm speechless. <sighs> Man, they would not see so amazing. <sighs> You know, that's the reason I am not into any relationship. Because I can't deal with all these things. <laughs> My dear. Uh, I would say that's better for you though. Claire! Claire! I'm coming! For goodness sake, how long does it take for one to get ready? You're always just in front of the mirror painting and you have nothing to show for it. Oh. Please, Kelvin, do not start this today. I beg you, please, in God's name. And what's this you're wearing? <laughs> you like it? I, I got it last week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's beautiful on me. You know, so many things are just wrong with you all at once. You just never get anything right. I mean, even dresses the ladies wear to kill, you obviously suck at it. I could change it if you want me to. Oh, please. I don't have the time for it. Let's just go. Got you something. Uh, For you. What? A flower? For me? Why? Please take that in your way. In that case, I guess I have to go upstairs and change. Oh, All right. no problem. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you see? Mm. I told you, he's a perfect gentleman. Mm -hmm. He even got you flowers. Mm -hmm. uh, but mom, getting a lady flower doesn't make one a gentleman. No, but... <laughs> It makes someone a gentleman. <laughs> He's a perfect gentleman. Mm. Oh. Ah. Young glove. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Mm. oh. 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 Mm. So, he came home and gave me a flower. Wait. Roy gave you flowers. Yeah. A rose. See? I told you he was into you. Because if he wasn't, why would you give you flowers? Please, he's not into me. I think he's just trying to be nice. With a rose. Girl, you're not so smart, are you? That guy is hell over his and love chip. So? Accept. How many minutes before the power of this? 11 minutes. Okay. Before 3 minutes, it's going to be ready.
If you are, what's the color of the problem this time? I collected this stupid flower from you because I thought you just wanted mom to buy the narrative you created about being in a relationship. You're yes, asking why else would I get you a flower? Because you're in love with me. Huh? In love with you? <laughs> what kind of a right thinking that would take a bitter and sad woman like you as a girlfriend? No, don't tell me! I thought as much. No, I don't know what to You and I. Vivian, we need to stop taking that from the table. It's not good for you. Still small for you. And where are you going? I have an appointment with the skincare brand I'm marketing for today. And what have I told you about that job? Kelvin, I am not quitting. You know exactly why I left Vivian for a less intelligent person like you? She was always about her job and not the relationship. <laughs> Other than that, what would I be doing with someone like you? Kelvin, if you were so into V, why did you leave her? Why did you marry me? You know what? I am sick and tired of you comparing her with me every single day. Morning V, afternoon V, night V. Why did you marry me? Claire, you're not continuing with that job. You lie, Kelvin. I am not quitting my job for this marriage. I am always there for you. I am always around you. And if that is not enough for you, then there is absolutely nothing I can do for you. Clay, if you walk out that door, don't come back. Do you need help with whatever you're going through? No, thank you. It's obvious you're struggling with something. I said I'm fine. Can you quit bothering me? Please. She never stops barking. What is the boy at time? Past nine. Past nine. Is this the time other married women go home to their husband? Kelvin, I had a long day. A hectic corner at that. Please, I need to go and rest. I'm so exhausted. Can we not just do this tonight? Please. Okay. Claire, I'm going to need you to go back to where you're coming from. I beg your pardon? Claire, you heard me. Go back to where you're coming from. Young lady, will you come back here? My daughter, with you. <laughs> Have you get home and go back to where you're coming from? Do you realize, Kelvin, that I am pregnant? Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to do something worse. If you don't get up from here and go back to where you're coming from. <laughs> Can I get up and get up? You won't believe what Kelvin did to me. This night. Kelvin hit me and threw me out of his house. This night, this night. 
I don't have anywhere to go to. I don't have. I did not do anything wrong to him. He said I came back late. I went to work and came back late. Kelvin hit me. Kelvin hit me and threw me out. I don't know what to do. I don't know. <laughs> I'm frustrated. I don't know where to go to. Where will I go to? Where will I sleep? Vivian, Vivian is looking for you. Shit. I'm not done. You are still on the pathway to presentation. It's been three days. Yeah, it's just hard. I've been struggling with it. Let me see. Girl, you have to finish this up and send it in as soon as possible. Well, this is for his presentation in Calabar. Um, okay. Let me go and see him and see if I can get more time. Sorry, I came back late last night. The goods delivered to me came in very late, and I needed to sort them out. I'm sorry. I have work that I'm struggling with. So you now need my help, right? Yes. Can you help me with the PowerPoint presentation I'm working on? Okay. I know I haven't been the nicest since I moved in. But this is very important to me. My job is on the line if I do not forward this to the MD's DM by Friday. Okay. Did you give the key points for the presentation? Yes. Here it is. Which is My house girl. You want my house girl. Don't worry about my house girl. She's not that cheap.
Good morning, beautiful. Good morning. So, okay, I'm telling you what we're having for. Don't you? Oh. Relax. So, I finished helping you with your project. You're back to being the main witcher that you are. Don't worry. You need my help again. Fast. Yeah, uh, I'm not hungry. And don't bother yourself trying to make anything for me. I won't be eating. Honey. What? Uh, is it that you won't be eating or you don't want to eat my food? Vivian, I don't understand your relationship with Roy. I don't. What do you mean? You both don't go out together as couples do. We are not other couples, Mom. So, how are you going to strengthen your relationship with him? If all you do is go to work, come back, and avoid each other all through the night completely. How are you going to achieve that? Mom, we are adults. Oh. We have bills and responsibilities. Yeah, we understand that love is important, but while at it, we also have goals to achieve. <laughs> Vivian, Vivian, marriage. Marriage is important, Vivian. You are not getting any younger. You're a woman. You need to settle down. Eh? Remember men. <laughs> If you don't give them attention, they will be distracted. Remember what happened between in your last relationship? I hope you still remember. So you're going to blame me for what happened between Kelvin and I? No, I'm not blaming you. All I want you to do is to use your tongue and count your teeth. That's all. your mother? So I was just talking with my mom and she was asking why we don't go out. I told her we're busy but I know she wouldn't stop until it actually happened. So are you, are you, are you asking me out on a date? A fake date? Maybe. Definitely not something serious. Okay, <clears throat> I'll think about it. But mind you, everything has got a price. What is it this time? I will tell you when the time is right.
Oh, wow. <laughs> Someone is looking so beautiful. Thanks, Mom. Ah, are you going somewhere? Yeah. Rory and I am going out. Oh, this is nice. That's how it should be. Once in a while, you both outside your door hang out to strengthen the bond. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ma. But I'm actually, V and I, we are very lucky to have you around. You're welcome. <laughs> so please go. Okay, Ma. Go out there and take care of yourself. Enjoy yourself. All right, Ma. <laughs> please you, do take care of yourself. I will. I will. <laughs> All right, Ma. Right. Bye. Take care of <laughs> Hi. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you, Thanks, baby. Yes. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Sure. Bye, Mom. This is my thing to be in love. Perfect, gentle. Um, just pull over. What? Pull over. Okay. Here. Good. Okay. <gasps> what? I think we should stay here for an hour or two before going back into the house. Or maybe we should go on an actual date. Me. Go on a date with you. Never. <laughs> Why are you acting so tough when I know you like me? <laughs> I swear. I tell you, I, I have never seen a real life crocodile in my life. I swear I took to my heels. <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> no, 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 no. You shouldn't have run. You should have waited. Oh. But seriously, who keeps oh. such a dangerous animal as a pet? It's only Cynthia's dad. Oh. And trust me, yeah? That was the last time I set my eyes on her. <laughs> ah, no, nah, I can't keep myself. I'm waiting now. Uh -uh. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow, 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 wow. That's that's more like it. More like what? I think you should smile often. <laughs> you look beautiful when you smile. Thank you. Um I think we should go now. Um um uh, uh, uh yes. Yes. We will go now. Yeah. <laughs> ah. mm. Mm. What? Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. What did I hear you say? Of course you heard me. Oh, okay. Okay, I mean, it is how it's gonna be. I think we should go on this fake date more often. I mean, I'm not <laughs> waiting. <laughs> wait, Fake dates? <clears throat> um, I I think I should go to the room, Mom. Hey, listen, stop talking right now. Why did he say you both went on a fake date? Why? Because we're not dating more. What? You both are not dating? That's the truth. Roy and I are not dating. We just share the same staff quarter. Yeah! You mean you've been lying to me all this while? I didn't mean to lie to you, Mom, but I had no option. You saw him and assumed he's my boyfriend. Because you obviously want to see me with someone. Hey! I, I was tired of, of you constantly pushing and pressuring me to be with someone and get married. Hey! Mom, have you ever asked me what I want for myself? Have you? Is that why you lied to me? So you've been lying to me all this while. Vivian, I'm talking to you. Don't, Mom. Vivian! Vivian, come here! Ah. Oh, 
baby. After what happened between you and Kelvin, I was so scared for you. Scared for what? That I was going to kill myself because of him? No, God forbid. You are not going to kill yourself. Just that I'm afraid you might not want to settle down with any other man again. Okay, I guess I got so excited when I saw Roy. But I'm sorry. Mom, that is not how relationship works. Okay. Your time and now are different. One doesn't just jump into another relationship without healing from the previous one. I will still date, definitely, but I still need some time so as to not to take another wrong decision. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, just that. That boy, Roy, that boy is a good boy. I just want you Mom. to... Okay, it's okay. I won't interrupt you again. I will not involve myself in your personal life again. Especially your personal life. You can decide to do whatever. Just have, you have all the time on earth to choose to do whatever you want to do with your life. Concerning relationship, I won't interfere anymore. I hope you're okay. Yes, Mom. It's alright. I'm sorry. I love you, baby. I love you too, Mom. Oh, Mom! My dear. You're leaving already? Yes, my darling. I'm leaving. Ah. I'll be back on my next appointment. Oh. Thank you so very much. I want to appreciate you so much for accommodating me, for relating me, and everything this long. Oh. I appreciate so much. Well, you're always welcome here. Yeah. I mean, you're always welcome to this apartment anytime. I know, I know. I'm very grateful. I'm but please, take care of my daughter for me. <sighs> Mom, I can take care of myself. I know you can take care of yourself. I know. See, let me tell you both. Hmm? You see this childish behavior? You all should drop it. You think I didn't notice? I'm not a baby. <clears throat> huh? You all should stop this. Uh, oh, I have to get the car keys so I can drop you off at the park. Please do. <laughs> Good boy. He's just such a gentleman. Let's wait for him outside. Okay. Um, I made dinner for two actually. Wait, Vivian, you cooked. I'm actually a good cook. Hmm. <laughs> and you want me to join you? I thought you hated me. Uh, well, you are right about that because you are super annoying and you like to get on my nerves. But there's one thing my mom was right about. It's that you're a good person. You put up with my behavior when you didn't have to. And I did put up with yours. <laughs> I, um, <clears throat> so, um, in other words, what you're saying is that there is no fighting, no insults, no rolling of eyes. And, oh, look at it. She just rolled your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I'm just so tired of fighting with you. I, ah. I mean, we could be better colleagues, like friends. Uh, Don't you think so? Yeah, I, I do. But, Vivian, hmm? something I want you to know is that my mother is a prayer warrior. So, just in case, I mean, peradventure, you're thinking about doing something to me, poison doesn't work for you. Excuse you? Well, because I don't know, I, I, I don't know where this food is coming from. Okay, uh, why don't you just risk it? I should risk it? Mm -hmm. Okay, where's the food? Let's go in. Okay. <laughs> Let's go in. Let's go. <laughs> So that will include the utility bills and maintenance, right? Uh, 
Okay. Um, are we just getting toiletries or are we adding food stuff? Wait, Vivian, you want to cook or you want to start cooking? I like cooking. It's actually one of my many hobbies. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, you keep shocking me these days. So tell me, uh, if you're gonna keep making delicious meals like the one of yesterday, who knows? I might propose. <laughs> what? Very funny. Um, okay. So we shop tomorrow. Okay. The total bills, we're going to share it 50 50. Okay. What's the total bill? I'm not done yet till I'm done. Please, Vivian, you shouldn't exceed 50k. Are you bothered already? It's obvious I'm going to pay the bigger sum now, like the larger sum. <laughs> I just said 50 50. Please. Come on! Oh, no, my guy, I'm not gonna let you oh do that. Oh my god. Morning, Jenny. Morning. Morning. Uh, who is this for? I guess it's for you. I saw it on my For me? Mm -hmm. ah. So you're smiling. Beautiful. It's from Roy. There is no name on it, but I'm sure it's him. And you're not mad. Is there something? No, 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 no. We're just trying to, you know, tolerate each other. Mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> I... Okay. Oh, she's back. Welcome. Thank you. And thank you for this. Huh? Oh, that? No, I didn't give it. Oh, please, stop. I know it's you. Okay, you got me. Yes, I, I did. I wanted to appreciate you. For what? For giving me less troubles. And for smiling a lot lately. <sighs> Come on, okay, look at it, look at it. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, if you keep smiling like this, you're gonna be a florist. Trust me, you don't have enough room for the amount of flowers I'm gonna give to you. Ah, you're so silly. <laughs> Thanks, by the way. It's really beautiful and it smells really good. Oh, Thanks. smells good? Yeah. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. By the way, you look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> B. Claire, it's so good to see you. It's not mutual. I. I came for shopping for my baby. I'm almost due. Kelvin and I are living so happy. He's the wonderful husband in the whole world. Ah, I can see that. I mean, it's, it's clear on your face. The evidence. Oh, this? Uh, it's like he doesn't hit me, trust me. It's just a domestic accident. Okay, well, I have to run. Someone is waiting for me. Are you, are you still single or are you in a relationship? Well, hey. I, uh, what's up? Shall uh, we? Mm, just give me a minute. A minute? Yeah, go ahead. I will join you in the car. Okay. That's the answer to your question. I am. I am so happy for you, V. Trust me. After the wedding, I came around looking for you and I was told you relocated. 
I couldn't do anything again. <sighs> Look, V, I am, I am so sorry for everything that happened. I am really sorry from the depth of my heart. It's all right. I forgave you a long time ago. Uh, why should I keep holding on to the past when it's completely garbage? Life is already paying you back in your own coin. I have to go. Enjoy your marriage and safe delivery. I don't want to keep my man waiting. Bye. Thanks for saving me out there. I figured you needed it. So was that your uh, your best friend? I mean, the one with your ex? Yeah, Claire, my best friend, the traitor. Do you have any regrets? Of losing him to her? Yeah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I doubt he would have been a good husband. I mean, did you see her face? She looks battered. I see that. I mean, things, everything happened for a reason, you know. Things okay, so. Um, about about the act I put up. Can I be that? <laughs> what? What's funny? I'm serious. Uh, then ask properly. I don't care. I should ask properly. Mm -hmm. Who talks properly? Uh, I would do that now. What are you doing? Why are you pulling over? Ask properly. Vivian Michaels, would you be my girlfriend? Ha! What are you doing? We're on the road and people are watching. Please get off. I don't care. Just, just say yes. Okay, yes, I will be your girlfriend. Yes. Please get off. Yes. 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 Please get off. <laughs> oh. Okay. okay <laughs> you can go. And share. And who says I need your consent to eat or have or do anything I want to? I, I thought you would want to have some. A bite. I'm sorry. Sorry for your stupid and dumb self. Excuse me. I'm just spoiled my food. Babe, where are you going to? Snow business. Babe. Uh, what did I do wrong? Did I 
did you wrong? Oh. How did I get myself into this? Why? Why me? Why? Why me? What wrong have I done to deserve this? to be his girlfriend. Yeah. Mm, like seriously. Wait, don't tell me you turned him down. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I actually like him. Mm. Roy is a good guy. Mm. <laughs> I told you, right, didn't I? Well, my friend, I am so happy for you. Congratulations, girl. Thank You've you. got yourself a great guy. I know, right? Mm -hmm. And he got himself a great woman mm. too. Mm. Of course, babe. Nobody <laughs> is disputing that fact. You're a very hardworking, talented, beautiful young lady. Oh, I'm sure you have a lot of guys in your team. A very long one at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, were you able to contact the HR yesterday? Oh, Jesus. Oh, I forgot to um, tell you, I swear. Okay, I have reminded you now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I have always dreamt to be with Kelvin like this. I do not know why this is happening to me. I have always dreamt to be a clingy wife to my husband. Why did my dreams and wishes turn against me within a twinkle of an eye? Why? Where did I go wrong with Kelvin? Where? He was a loving and sweet guy. What changed? What changed?
Maybe I need to use the confidence, okay? You should stop eating. Relax. Sorry about that. I, I didn't, I didn't oh. mean to bump into nah, you. Nah, it's fine. No offense taken. I mean, you've done worse. Well, I have seen how much of a good husband you've turned into. I don't, I don't understand what you're talking about. Claire, your wife, the mother of your unborn children, my best friend. The last time I saw her, she wasn't in a good shape. Kelvin, why did you get married to her if you knew you were going to maltreat her? Uh, like, I I'm sorry, V, okay? It's just, each time I remember how I didn't end up with you, it burns me on the inside. Yeah. I mean, the only way I, I know I can express it is, is by getting physical with her. I'm sorry. I have to go. My man is waiting. Oh, wait. You... You have a man in your life? Happy married life, Kelvin. Came here too. Um, you know, my husband decided to take his babies out for a dinner. Mm. You know, he has been working all day, day in, day out, tirelessly, and he felt this is the little he could do to, you know, appreciate the family. Make it up to us, you know. <laughs> Isn't he a sweet husband? Ah. He is. And I wish that this your beautiful union remains this way forever. Thank <laughs> you. Hey. Oh. Yeah, I'm so sorry for returning late. Uh, that's fine. What's most important is you're here right now. Vivian Michaels. My sunshine. I, so I, I know I've only known you for four months. But it feels like four decades already. You see, I... <laughs> see, one thing I'm sure of is a place in your heart. And that is where I want to be for the rest of my life. See, I know we have not, we've not dated for long, but... At this point in my life, I know what I want. And, and what I want is you. I hope you didn't touch the food. Well, you asked me not to. Why would I? <laughs> Where are your manners? You don't answer a question with another question. Um, I'm sorry. I did not touch the food. Better. Now eat. Um, um. Babe, the best thing that will happen to me right now is to be your husband. The father of your unborn children and your life partner. Vivian Michaels, will you marry me? Yes, baby, yes, I'll marry you. Oh my God, baby, I will marry you. Oh my god, this is so sudden, I don't...
you still love her? You know, if you hadn't come into my life, that man would have been me tonight. Then why did you marry me? Tell me! Why did you marry me when you still love her? You make me miserable with this godforsaken marriage! How dare you talk to me like that? Are you insane? Ex and his wife, my best friend. I need to no, talk no, no, to him. No, no, you, you can go to him. Clearly, he's not in the right state of mind. Don't, all right? She's been maltreated by him. I need to talk to him. This is this is our night. This is supposed to be about us, not anyone else. Not even them. Maybe it's just your way of life paying them back, all right? What is important is you and I, okay? That is karma for them. Look at me. Concentrate. Okay. Breathe. Okay. One chest towards Again. Again. <laughs> Again. Yeah. <laughs> See, I was. Thanks for the ride. Oh, you're welcome. It's nothing. I've been meaning to ask, did you guys relocate to? No, 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 we did not. I have a cousin who stays in this part of Abuja. She had a wedding a week ago, and uh, Claire and I had to come down here for that wedding. But Claire's gone back home, and uh, I had to stay back for a project for my company. It's funny how we're meeting again. <laughs> Small world indeed. Mm -hmm. It's fate. It's our fate. Why are you not taking your calls? It's it's not an important call. Don't worry about it. Can I ask you something? <sighs> Yeah, sure, shoot. Uh, what really happened? I mean, how did the both of you happen? <sighs> Actually, V, this was never intended. I loved you, and I still love you. The pain of losing you burns me each time I remember how much I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. Kelvin, what happened? All I wanted was a sweet, crazy relationship with you, V. All I needed from you was just your time and attention. Though we were together so close, it felt... I felt as though we were in a long distance relationship. I, wa I wanted to feel your presence in my life. But I wasn't getting that. Aunt Claire was the only one who could give that to you. <sighs> the things didn't happen the way you actually think. 
It was a very unfortunate day for me. I was having a bad day at work. I had cold and, and cold. <laughs> but you weren't taking your calls. When you eventually picked your cold, you told me you were going in for a meeting and that you were going to call me back. I'm sorry for not being there enough for you. I wanted to get a life first. Since my childhood, I promised myself that I am not going to be a liability on any man. Seeing the way my father treated my mother because she's uneducated and a stay-at-home wife. That made me vow to myself that I will be as hard-working as I could in the future. I thought putting my job first was the best gift I would ever give to myself, but that was wrong. I'm sorry for the times I made you feel unimportant or unwanted. It's okay. You know I called in one day and unfortunately Claire Claire picked your call and she told me you had left home in a hurry and without your phone too. Well, she had me sound so sickly on the phone and offered to bring me lunch and take care of me. Well, the biggest mistake I made that day was agreeing to that. Thank you for taking care of me, Claire. I really appreciate it. You don't have to. Besides, we are friends. And this is the least I can do for a friend. So it's fine. I feel much better now. Hmm. Thank you. Good to hear that. I was actually waiting for you to wake up before I take my leave. And there is food on the dining. So. Thank you. It's 10.30 p.m. But why don't I just drop you off? No, you don't have to. I'll just book a ride. And besides, you're not feeling fine, so you should be resting, okay? Well, in that case, I can let you go all by yourself. You should just spend the night. Oh, <laughs> that would be so awkward. I mean, <laughs> We're no. not spending the night on the same bed, okay? You can use the guest room. Besides, I have some of this stuff in my closet. You can use some of them. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Okay. That's cool. I woke up later that night to a hand rolling up my ties and I, I did try to stop her actually. But unfortunately, I was already aroused and I couldn't. It would have pained me less if the other woman in your life isn't my best friend. Kelvin, you hurt me badly. You pierced my heart with a very deep stab. Sorry, baby. Okay. I still love you. It's not necessary anymore. You have a family now, a very good one at that. Trust me, if you open your heart to love Claire, she's a great woman. See, I only married Claire because she was less of a working class woman than you are. One of the biggest mistakes anyone can ever make is being with someone for a particular reason. There's this saying that we like because and we love despite. You liked Claire because she's always available for you. You should have loved me truly despite all my flaws. We would have, you know, created a magic between. When you left me for her, I... I thought that was the end of me.
Sorry, be cold, please. Oh. Oh. Uh. You are sorry? Tell me, how sorry are you? Don't tell me. I called you countless times, Kelvin. But you declined my calls. The gardener took me to the hospital to deliver your baby. Your first child! Fine. You went for your cousin's wedding. Then you saw Vivian. Lied to me that you wanted to stay back and supervise a project from work. I am not a fool, Kelvin. I'm not. Claire, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Okay, I'm sorry for the death of our child. Please forgive me. I had still birth because I got to the hospital very late. The doctor confirmed that I was depressed during my pregnancy. I hate you, Kelvin. I hate you. <laughs> you will hear from my lawyer soon. Everything that has happened in the past. I am really, really sorry, Claire. Most especially for the death of our child. I want to believe that God knows best. It's really sad. I feel so terrible. All the inconveniences and trauma that comes with pregnancy. <laughs> only to. Only not to put to bed. It's so sad. <sighs> the 
the best decision I would take in my life is to walk away from this marriage. I bear no grudges against you, Kelvin. I don't. I totally understand your emotion. I do. Claire, I am really sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for ignoring my heart and listening to my brain. My brain was convinced that you were the kind of woman I needed. But clearly my heart wasn't. What goes around comes around. I, I shouldn't have built my happiness on Vivian's sadness. The death of my child really taught me a lot. Especially losing someone that I really love. You know, I thought that I'd live the rest of my life with Vivian. But I wasn't I wasn't understanding. To love someone means to understand who they really are and accept them. Accept everything about them. Claire, I thought that being with you would have been the best thing to do, but Claire, I am I'm really sorry. Okay, I'm I'm sorry for the pain and the tears that have cost you. <laughs> and and as, as, as for the many times that I compared you with Vivian, I am sorry. Please forgive me. Claire, you're an amazing woman. You don't deserve a man like me. I believe that someday you're going to find the man who, who deserves you. Who's going to cherish you. <sighs> it's okay. Um, you, you're an amazing man, Kelvin. The only thing you need now is to live your life and be happy. You just can't continue to hold on to your past, hold on to Vivian. You need to love yourself, forgive yourself. That's the only way that you can be loved again. Claire. Please. For everything that I have done to you. Please find the place in your heart to forgive me. It's okay. If there is anything I have learned in this life, it's not to forcefully collect what is never mine. Look, Kelvin. For taking Vivian away from you, I am really, really sorry. From the deepest part of my heart. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll be out shortly. That's my driver, he's outside already. Okay. I have to go. Right. Thank you very much for everything.
Madam, are you okay? Be careful what you do. When karma hits you up, no one will be there to share the pain with you. Life has its own way of paying us back for every action we make. It's been two years now. We all learned our lesson, but life gave us the opportunity to have a second chance. Kelvin got married to one of his workers, a working class lady. Vivian and Roy welcomed their twins three months ago and I things are going on well between the uber guy who came to pick me up the day I walked out of my marriage with Kelvin he gave a listening ear that day and boom we are here today doing well it feels so good to be loved and beloved be careful what you do to people because for every action there will always be consequences to bear. This is my story.